Good morning. It is September the 30th, <clears throat> 2016. It's the end of the week, end of the month, end of the quarter. And this usually leads to a rally in the stock market. And that's probably the biggest factor that we'll face today trading treasuries. Treasuries can trade either direction on end of the month, end of the week, end of the quarter. So the direction of the E mini is probably primal. Um, Commerce Bank, ING, and Deutsche Bank are all in the news headlines right now. I don't see any way for the EU, the ECB, and the various state central banks to <coughs> do anything but step up to the plate and backstop their major banks. It's been a long time coming. They've delayed it. They've had to do this for years, but uh, don't be surprised if um, Commerce... Deutsche Bank and ING all get um, aid from their central banks. And that would be a significant piece of news if the ECB and the various governments and the uh, various central banks came out and announced that our banking system will not fail. We're going to do anything and everything. And to start this off, we're going to add uh, this amount of money to Deutsche Bank and whoever else needs it. Uh, that would uh, be significant. It would turn around the stock markets. It would bring in selling to the euro, uh, it would bring in selling to gold, and it would probably take treasuries lower too. So we have that to look with, to work with. Probably, my guess is it'll happen next week. They'll let the markets, they'll have weekend meetings, and uh, <coughs> see what happens. Get everybody together, come up with a plan. Um, only China's market was up last night. All equity markets around the world sold. Even the E-mini was off a couple of ticks this morning when I looked. It's certain it's traded higher. Uh, so end of quarter, end of month, end of week should take the E-mini higher. And I, that's where I think the biggest pressure on uh, treasuries will come from. Personal income up two-tenths. Consumer personal spending up two-tenths. That will be the first news focus. Don't know what that news was. Uh, second, new, second will be Chicago PMI at 52. It does cause reaction. It won't turn the markets. Consumer sentiment, 90.1. That one can come in lower than forecast. And Baker Hughes rig count should be higher. It was, six four, was 649 last week. So personal spending and consumer sentiment are the two biggest factors for equities today. And Baker Hughes rig count for the price of crude oil. Uh, so here we sit. Uh, we have a sell at 23 to 27. The idea that we'll have a trading range today, then at 31 to 03. On the buy side, we have 13 to 17 by one. If the E mini starts to rally, that would be pretty easy to knock down, but I think the uh, 5 to 9 area will hold up in any event. We do live in interesting times. The um, terrorist in uh, Washington State turns out to be voted in three elections. And why did he vote in three elections? Because the state of Washington does not require proof of citizenship or anything else. And I'll bet you a dollar he didn't vote um, um, Republican. It is so predictable, and we all know the reason why. It's much easier to stuff the ballot box that way in close elections. Okay, looking at the 30-year, probably going to have trouble at 170. Uh, so first resistance area is the buck to 04, so a sell at 31. Could be what shapes out. 7 to 11, sell 1. 15 to 19, sell 2. Um, given what's going on with the European banking system, uh, people will be reluctant to be short gold and treasuries. Uh, it just won't be <laughs> part of their trading plan. 16 to 20, number one support. Uh, so 9 to 13 by 1. 29 to 01 by 2.
Okay, gold, I'd be a very reluctant, hesitant short in gold today. Uh, it can sell, as we all know, but um, given what's going on with the European banks, would not be a good contract to go home short on this over the weekend. Okay, pretty clean break in the market up here at 35. So here we sit, so 34, 36, sell uh, 1. 39.41 sell 2. Best resistance is above 45, so 13.45.50 is best resistance. Support is 20 to 25. 25, 27 by 1. 20, 22 by 2. And the 10 o'clock update today, after the, uh, that update's out of the way, we'll talk about extending your trading time frame and horizon, how to do that, how to use the charts. Basically, it's just you go from a 30-minute time frame to a daily time frame and you utilize daily information. Okay, anything that the European Central Bank, State of Germany, anybody else does to support and mitigate their banking problems that they're having right now, we should take the euro lower. And we already see that. Again, KL, Frankfurt time, is you can start moves now, not just London. So um, 1175, first stop, buy one. 1150, buy two. On the uh, sell side, 15 to 25, sell 1, 40 to 50, sell 2. Anything done to bail out the banks and support them requires printing more money. Makes the euro less valuable. And that's really not against anybody's plan in Europe. They want to increase inflation. They want to get their exports out of the EU. Uh, lower currency really helps them do that. Okay, in crude oil, we saw it a little bit yesterday. Okay, great. You guys are going to restrict production to 32 million barrels a day, 33 million barrels a day. Well, just exactly how are you going to do it? Who's going to restrict their production? And the devil is always in the details. So, um, the market right now as the details come out and you probably won't see anything negative come out of OPEC or OPEC members they're going to enjoy a couple of months worth of uh, higher prices I think the market is shooting for something north of 50 um, obvious place to go get stops people are short and um, then come um, November they've got to get a deal and I just can't see that Iran's going to do anything unless Iran's quota is set at 4 million barrels per day and if that is what it is set up, they'll agree to it. Okay, uh, resistance is 48, 48 and a quarter. So 48 and a quarter at a high of 35, so maybe a retest of that. 25 to 50, sell one. 75 to the buck, sell two. Like the long side better. Doesn't mean the market can't sell. On the buy side, 47, 50, 47 and a quarter by one. And then 46.75, 47 by 2. Pretty much where we were yesterday on the close. Okay, the E mini and the Chinese uh, the Shanghai market were higher last night. E mini held its own. Triple witching today. Uh, that it's hard to find a seller in that situation if we go back and look at the monthlies. Last month close was at 2177. Um, they don't have to make that, uh, but uh, that would be a trading target. 2175. That's 25 points away, that can be done.
European surprise announcements out of Europe about their banking status can take this market down. So uh, <coughs> getting stops above the Globex highs where we are. So the first short 56, 54, 56, sell one, 59, 61, sell two. Definitely have an up bias in the market. Um, 45, 47, buy one. 40, 42, buy two. Now this market will be subject to down news spikes. Bad news out of the EU on their banking system. So, if you're long, don't do that without putting a, a protective stop in the market. Okay, got the news today. Um, let me go see what the uh, actual news was, so we don't have to guess. Okay, uh, consumer spending was unchanged at zero. That is a negative. It's a positive for uh, treasuries. Uh, typically, it would be a negative for uh, stocks. And uh, personal income was up two tenths of a percent. So, people and core was up two tenths of a percent. So, the spending number was less than forecast. That is usually not supportive for indexes. Next news, Chicago PMI looking for 52. Okay, um, I'll get everything up and posted here. Shouldn't take too long. Obviously, I won't be here at 8 o'clock for the 8 o'clock briefing, but I'll get the recordings up so you all have them. And back with you for the uh, around 8.30 for the opening. <coughs>